How's it going, guys? I'm Waxon, and we are back at the Stanley Parable. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting. We're going to do today another ending. I already begin to know the road, so here we are. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Don't know why, but today... Yeah, I really want to go in here. Yet, there was not a single person here either. I'm going once to read all this stuff, but not now. Stanley decided to go up so how's it going, guys? Office, hoping he might find an answer there. Okay. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. So okay, we're going down. I really want to go down. Can I open? I can't open it. Wow. What's here? The fuck? Yeah, I can. I can't understand what's. For. Ah. Haven't we been here already? But Stanley just couldn't do it. Ah. He considered the possibility of facing his boss. Admitting he had left his post during work hours, he might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed uh. everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. True. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical Want sense. Want to be free? And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? What the? Those <laughs> automatically behind him wherever he. Yeah, was. that's true. And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Yeah, that's true. Repeating. What then the Stanley fuck? Himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. Tough. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming! He yelled. I'm this dreaming! Dream. I don't... Oh, what a relief. oh my god, I have the goosebumps. He finally found an answer, an explanation. His what the... Actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He, he wasn't, wasn't crazy anymore. after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real life. Interesting. Where's this come here from? I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. What? Then he I just realized. Himself soaring through what the space fuck? on a magical star field. What? And it too oh God! It was so much fun, and Stanley marvelled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps Duff. the strangest question of them all entered Stan's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. I'm Why scared. Is there a voice in my head? <laughs> everything that I'm doing and thinking. Now oh, the voice is describing itself being considered by Stanley. Oh my who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's This is amazing, really. Thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How this was not a dream. Was it's amazing. It's, it's really amazing, guys. Believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself. Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. But how could I see the star? Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. Yeah. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did True. the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? True. How else would the voice explain all that? Yes. This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... Oh my fucking god, my he head is going to blow. He would prove that he was in control. That this was a dream. Yes. So he closed his eyes gently. And he invited himself to wake up. Wake he up. He felt the cool wake weight up, of the blanket on his skin. The press of the mattress on well. his back. The fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. Wow. I want my apartment. My, my wife, wife. My, my job. job. 
All I want is my life. Exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. Wow. This ending was really good, guys. Or it was not an ending yet. Stanley began screaming. What the Please, fuck? Someone wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss, I have an office, I am real. Duh. Please just someone tell me I am real. Is this I red? must be real, I must be. Can anyone hear Oh my me? god! Who am I? Who am I? <clears throat> went black. What? Just happened? This is the story of a woman named Mariella. What? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. Unbelievable, guys. Crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. Yes. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be, to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her <laughs> wow. and by extension the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. Heads down to the writers of this game. This was an amazing ending for me guys. I don't know if she could feel, feel it, but I really felt it all the way, and it felt amazing. I don't know why. But that was all for today's episode of the Stanley Parable. And uh, see you next time.